the 720p and 1080p modes. Uh, since it doesn't have a wide-angle lens there, I don't know if that's going to demonstrate it very well, uh, but uh, in 1080p, it actually crops out part of the video. Now, this is a problem uh, that exists, well, in my estimation, it's a shortcoming that exists in both the PM5 and CM5. Uh, if I go into the menu and toggle video between 1080 at 30 frames a second or 720 at 30 frames a second, you'll notice that I can see a lot more of the, the object in front of me. So it's like it zoomed in. Well, it didn't ex actually zoom in, it just cropped out part of the frame. So you have to step even further back from your subject uh, if you intend on recording in 1080p. So I'm going to switch it again just to better illustrate it. Holding the camera in the same position, of course the TV is not moving any, but you see that there's less of the TV in the frame, or at least I can see that. And not only the PM5, but the CM5 as well. So again, uh, it's unique uh, with the type of swivel lens. It's unique in the sense that it records 1080p, uh, but um, I don't know if I'm all that impressed with how they've handled uh, the, uh, well, the, the, I guess the lens factor, uh, not only uh, skipping on a wide-angle lens, but also cropping out part of the video when you're switching to 1080p mode. So that I, I really wasn't impressed with. I do have to thank Sony, however, at the halfway point uh, for sending me both bloggies to review. I will be sending them back. Um, so without further ado, uh, let me switch to the CM5. Ta-da! Do not adjust your screen. I have recorded two video reviews of the Sony Bloggy CM5 that I'm pointing at with the Sony Bloggy PM5, what I'm recording with, and each time it was out of focus. So apparently, while I'm standing the same distance from the CM5 with the PM5 as I was with the CM5 for the PM5, uh, the PM5 doesn't do close-up shots very well at all, so I'm going to cut this part actually short. What sets the uh, CM5 apart other than price is apparently it handles close-up shots uh, better, but it also has a uh, pop-out, or I guess a swivel screen that can be positioned around. It also has HDMI out. Uh, so for the money, I would say it's the CM5 for a variety of reasons. Oh. You know, not the least of which is the 5 magnification optical zoom, if you can see that at all. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to cut this short since this third video review attempt of the uh, CM5 uh, with the PM5 has been out of focus. I'm just going to assume this one's going to be out of focus as well. My email address, chrisapparillo.com. Of course, more information can be found at uh, go.tagjag.com slash CM5 or go.tagjag.com slash PM5. Although, given that this part of the review is out of focus, you're likely to look at the CM5 as far as money is concerned. Got a community of tech enthusiasts at...